Foreign policy to me seems like one of the craziest things that we have going on these days because everyone's talking about it and yet it seems like no one knows what they're talking about. Is that a generally fair statement? If, if it's comforting at all, uh, having a lot of foreign policy issues that people know nothing about is not anything that is new to today. <laughs> um, okay. However, uh, I don't pretend to be able to sit from my position and prescribe uh, foreign policy. Um, that is not what I see my role as an economist mm -hmm. uh, as, as being. Um, but I can say that economics gives us a lot of insights as to uh, how we should expect foreign policy to work or in a lot of cases to not work in the way that it's intended. There is absolutely what we would call the public choice aspect of foreign policy. Uh, what Dwight Eisenhower referred to as the military industrial complex. So you have uh, congressional leaders, you have the Pentagon, you have private interest who all have a vested interest in engaging in foreign policy or particular types of foreign policy, I should say, regardless of whether or not it's actually productive or serving the quote unquote common good. Yeah, when you say particular types, you're talking about some sort of military intervention, basically. Military intervention, although one thing that we have observed for the last uh, several decades, uh, humanitarian interventions are becoming more and more uh, something that's falling under the umbrella of military execution, um, regardless of whether or not that's appropriate. Yeah. So when you see something like Syria going on right now and there's a humanitarian disaster, are they bringing in economists to say, guys, we, there's, an, there's a humanitarian disaster, there's, uh, there's pe you know, hundreds of thousands, of something like 500,000 people have died over the last eight years or something like that. Like, what are the economic choices we have to make to make this viable? Or is it just that the machine just kind of exists and, and they're just gonna make the decisions and do what they want? Uh, unfortunately, and this has been a point of a lot of the research that uh, I've done, mm -hmm. is people tend to think about foreign intervention as being something really simple. It's a math problem right. or a very just linear, of, here's a problem, we wanna get from this point to that point, and here's a solution that's supposed to fix it. So we go from A to B to C. Right. Unfortunately, that is not how things work. Yeah, has uh, it ever worked that way? No. Has there has, ever been the A to B to C? Never, uh, right? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Um, things are not linear like that. And so when you think about issues, especially something that's as complex as foreign policy, it's totally uh, just fantastic thinking to look at that and go, sure, if we intervene at one part in the system, there's no way that there's going to be an impact in other parts of that system as well. And that's where you wind up running into some really un nefarious, unintended consequences, which we have seen over and over and over. <laughs>